Coach, what do you think the characteristics are of a great strength coach? I, I know that's kind of a, a, a basic question, if you will, but obviously, again, South Carolina fans have been – we all know people say it's the most important hire a head coach will make because you guys are with the players every single day, day in, day out. You guys are with them more than the position coaches, the head coaches, the coordinators, everybody. Like, what do you think the characteristics are of a great strength coach? Yeah, I, I, everybody always says that, right? It's the most important hire. And, and, and as a strength coach, I, I tend to agree because, you know, I think you have to be able to, you know, I've, I've said this before, you have to be able to wear a lot of different hats. Um, you have to be the, the hammer. You have to be the disciplinarian. You got to be the, the guy that instills fear. But you also got to be a friend. You got to be a shoulder to cry on, the psychiatrist, the, the big brother. We have to, you have to kind of be everything and the motivator. Um, and I think that most importantly, like if there's one trait that a strength coach needs to have, he's got to be able, he's got to be able to build a relationship and he's got to be able to do it relatively quickly, but he's also got to be consistent with it for a long period of time. So um, being able to build a relationship and understand that it is about the relationship first regardless of what happens on the field. You know, I, I have I have great relationships with guys from the seven years I had at South Carolina. You know, I talked to Pat DeMarco yesterday. Um, it, it, we, we talk all the time. I talk to all those guys as often as I can. And it's because while I was there and still to this day, I truly cared about them as men more than sometimes anything else. I was going to say, would you argue that's more important than the – because, again, I think when fans think of strength coaches, they think, okay, I mean, you're just telling them to lift weights. But it sounds like what you're saying, like the relationships and the motivation side of things. And, you know, I heard Luke Day talking about this, you know, tapping into a kid's – bringing out more out of a kid than he thought was possible, I guess you could say. That's a rough way of saying – but paraphrasing what he said, bringing more out of a kid. Um, it sounds like that yeah, love, is the more love, important – yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think I think so. I I don't think it's more important than a lot of the other things we do, but it has to be present. It has to be there. You know, I like a lot of what coach day has been saying. I, you know, obviously I, I keep up with everything on social media as much as I can, but um, his philosophies, they align, they align really, really closely with, with my philosophies. And um, the one thing I will say is I don't think that, um, that there's nothing wrong with being really good at everything as a strength coach. Mm -hmm. I mean, what I mean by that is a lot of times people were like, oh, he's a, he's a motivator. He's a yeller, right? He's, he, he's really good at that. Or he's a science guy. He's really good at programming and, and, and GPS and sports science. What, what's wrong with being really good at all that? Right. It's a serious question because I, I hear it all the time in, in all these changing jobs and, and everybody's shuffling around and you know there's the flow to science versus you know hard ass to whatever and what's wrong with being both what's wrong with being good at everything I, I just mm -hmm. that's one of the things I always tell my assistants and my interns is mm -hmm. you should be good at everything that's your yeah. job you know yeah be well-rounded for sure I kind of on a lighter note coach I want to get your take on this because again it, it's so funny with like the strength coach thing it, it's one of those things that again I feel like the common fan nobody really knows what they do or like the day in day out but it's so funny because I, I've seen some fans before and not just in this for South Carolina or like you know this year with Shane Beamer hiring his staff but other situations like fans love to judge strength coaches like on how jacked they are like how stupid is that <laughs> it's just I feel like that's so dumb <laughs> Yeah, I mean, listen, like, I, I think that that's all well and good. And to be – honestly, to be a good strength coach, I think for you as a strength coach, lifting weights in some capacity, I think, is just like watching film for a yeah. position. Coach, Setting the example right? a little bit. You're practicing what you preach. You can right, feel right. it, and that helps your programming, right? right. It helps guide right. some of the things you do. But – if, if a strength coach needed to deadlift 800 pounds, <laughs> then they should just go hire all the world's strongest men yeah. to be strength coaches and everybody would be fine. It's yeah. there's so much more to it than that, mm. you know? And, and I just, you know, it, it, it's, uh, it's one of those fancy, you know, Twitter things that everybody yeah. likes, but in reality, there's so much more to it than that. 
No, definitely. I, I equate it to like being a, uh, a swing coach in golf. You know, some, sometimes the best players aren't the best teachers and vice versa. So uh, 